Hello YouTube. Welcome to the design slash blueprint of the stove door. Okay, I do not have a pointer handy. Yes, I do. Okay, we're going to make this a foot tall. Okay, now these are about two inches tall, these caps. So what we're going to do, I don't know if they'll show up on the dotted line, but I'll take a picture of this. We're going to allow a quarter inch above that. Okay, then we'll have our holes, one inch diameter. We're going to put a half inch space between the bottom of the door. The door will be six inches by six inches with a five inch hole. So we have an overlap. The same as the top. We're going to allow it two and one quarter inches. Let's allow a quarter inch past the lip of that, this piece. So it'll clear. Okay. I drew this out on paper, uh, not a professional draftsman or anything, but I remembered some of it from school years ago, 30-some years ago, for the fort, you don't even want to say. Back in the old days, uh, might not be too good to show up with the light here, but I will take a picture of it. So I just make a real short video, it is chilly out. Uh, I got things going on this weekend, so I'm not going to do anything on this for a day or so. But there we go. That's the plan. I was going to make this all colored and fancy and different. But I ain't going to do that. But I'm going to try to make a piece that slides for the holes. So there's one inch spacing between these holes. So if I make the piece with the three holes, I'll be able to slide it over. It'll be probably this long. It'll be like an inch further. So it slides over and blocks the holes. We're going to accomplish that by having like a little slot and a bolt where it slides back and forth in there. I'm sure that'll be enough air because you're always going to have air around the door. Let's back out a little bit here. There. You're always going to have air around your door. You're always going to have a gap. I'm sure that'll be enough air. If that's not enough air, I may add an extra one back on the side or somewhere out of the way just to let a little more when you fire it up. You know, something you like to unscrew a cap real quick, a uh, slide open, a little damper, something when you want to get it started, and then you can always shut down. Cause it's going to burn with that. Uh, if you figure out the math, three inches, three holes, three one inch holes, that's going to be a lot of air. Uh, compared to the stove pipe, it's going to be less. But I think we all get the idea on that. Okay, I'll snap a couple pictures of this. Uh, there's not a lot of measurements on here, uh, so I did, I've got the right edge, so 12 inches tall, and this piece is only 8 inch wide strip of paper, so it left an inch. So there's 6, there's an inch, you're 6, then there's an inch, okay? So I didn't write that on there, but I will snap a picture of this, because it might give somebody an idea uh, if they want to copy this. I can always add extra later, and always take another picture, so thanks for watching.